the Teeth and Turbos YouTube channel is officially gone. Now it's uh, it's time, it's go time, and this is literally like, I'm kind of at this standpoint right now where either I can continue to test and continue to break things, or we can just go full sand with the video, and that's what we've done, we just kind of went for it. Fortunately, I sling a belt and smoke the wall. This is it for the Hellcat. Right there you see Dr. Parker and Pastrana, fourth and fifth, and Kevin Smith and Dr. Parker leading down the first It was quite possibly one well. of the Dr. best Parker. weekends of my life. We changed the name from Teeth and Turbos to Dr. Parker, and why I did that, I'm gonna be telling you about in this video, but we have a ton of other stuff to cover, including the Thai Longtail Riverboat video that everybody's been waiting for, including myself, and I gotta say, we've been ripping this thing for a couple weeks. We've had trials and tribulations and engine breakdown, but we ripped it super hard, and it ended with a massive failure. So. Without further ado, I officially present to you the teaser for the first Thai long tail diesel river boat ever hitting US. A year ago, I found myself scrolling on social media and came across these long wooden boats with giant diesel engines on the back. And I just had a desire to figure out how I can get my hands on one or even just drive one. He's been through trials and tribulations, the thing doesn't run, then it runs, then it doesn't. They built this cool trailer. I mean, Parker's hit this thing from a lot of really cool angles, and that's why I'm excited to see him succeed. Aaron, look at that! Look at him! Now it's, uh, it's, time, it's go time, and this is literally like, I'm kind of at this standpoint right now where either I can continue to test and continue to break things, or we can just go full sand with the video, and that's what we've done. We just kind of went for it. You know, I know there's people waiting, like, kind of all over the world to see this boat rip on the United States because it is the first one. Your uncle did not have one, right? <laughs> I shouldn't say that. We just got back from the New England 900. All right, I'm really excited about today because we are in New England. I have never raced up here, and it's probably been 10 plus years since I've been to the Northeastern United States. We're here in Stafford Springs, Connecticut. We're at Stafford Motor Speedway. The last time I raced this car was at Bristol, and we finished second place. This car does really well on the bigger tracks compared to the Freedom Factory. They changed the computer in it so that the fans are always running. So I'm really excited for today. We got a fresh set of tires on it. We're gonna go check out the track right now because I've heard it's absolutely incredible. For some reason, that oval track was like four corners. It wasn't a circle. And I was absolutely thrown off during qualifying. As you can see during my qualifying runs, I immediately placed myself towards the bottom of the pack. Uh, this is brother out on track again now here. You've got Dr. Parker and Teeth and Turbos. His first start of the year. He had a second place finish last year at Bristol and a 10th place finish at the Mullins the last the year. Which ended up working out in my favor because they ended up reversing the field for the start of the race. So which meant I was starting towards the front and all the fast drivers were behind me. It was nerve wracking. You know, I didn't figure out my line until the actual race had started. We had no practice. We went straight into qualifying and it was not easy, We, hit, but it was an absolute blast. It was so much fun. One of the most fun races I've ever been a part of. And I'm so thankful to be able to do that with all the fans and friends present back watching to green us. As they not only that, but to top it off with an absolutely zone, the green flag incredible fire Kevin race. Smith and Dr. Parker leading down the front stretch towards turn one. Dr. Parker in that seven car got a really good restart. In fact, he looks like he's working on taking the lead. He'll be outside through one and two, but here comes Kevin Smith fighting back on the bottom. There goes that uh, advantage there on the bottom of the racetrack, and Kevin Smith doing a little bit of homework early on here, making sure that the bottom is where you want to be on the restart. Dr. Parker goes way up the racetrack but he's going to keep the momentum wound up it's going to be kevin smith at the line 
uh, by a little bit more than half a car length. They'll look to try to clear the seven as they work their way through turns one and two. And how about Jim York? How in the heck is he even out there? And he's running side by side for second right now with Dr. Parker. But you just saw it in one and two from this overhead view, how he was working the apron, especially from the middle of one and two off. Come off of turn number four. There you see great side-by-side -side racing for second and third. Everybody else falling back into the clutches of those two drivers. Keep an eye on a couple of cars. Right there you see Dr. Parker and Pastrana, fourth and fifth. Jim York back in sixth. J.H. Diesel has moved up to seventh, and he's brought Greg Biffle along with him. Biffle has gone from 19th to 8th. So Tony Stewart's record of uh, worst to first in 15 laps is still safe when it comes uh, to so the NASCAR. I just want to say that anybody who watched or came to the event, we thank you. It was absolutely incredible, and so were you guys. And uh, not only that, but it was so cool to see like a local track just thrive on so many new customers or fan base that had never been there before. My mom and I made it a point to ask fans if they had ever been to this racetrack, and about 90% of them had said no which is absolutely amazing for this local track who is, which is third generation owned and now owned and ran by two brothers who just absolutely love the sport. So, so I've heard that we will be back next year and I already can't wait. It's probably one of my number one events other than some of the events that are held at the Freedom Factory. Aside from the New England 900 and not winning uh, John Deere lawnmower, we had our burnout contest on Saturday, and that was so cool. There's nothing more I love than absolutely frying some tires, and I gotta say, the Hellcat loves to put on a show. Unfortunately, I sling a belt and smoked the wall. I hit the wall so hard that my neck is still sore, even despite wearing a donut, and uh, the airbags went off. Not only did the airbags went off, but Uconnect, or Dodge's version of OnStar was called, and. You know, somebody came over the speakers as if we were in an actual accident, you know, on the street and they asked if we needed help and it was absolutely hilarious because Cletus held up the mic on the live stream and you could hear the person on Uconnect talking to us to make sure everything was okay and we had to explain that we were at a racetrack and that... <laughs> Alright, up next is my brother from the Teeth and Turbos YouTube channel and his outside cat. This is not a Hellcat, it's an outside cat, okay? Turn it into an off-road Hellcat. Parker, we're ready for you, brother. Let it rip. team out here yeah wow that was a hard wall tap let me go i gotta go see this you were sending it out there brother what do you think Dude, i think the card is called the cops oh it's on the phone with odd star hello no everything is not okay my brother uh he hit the wall Good news is we're at Stafford Motor Speedway doing a burnout contest, so we don't need any help, but I wouldn't say everything's okay with this car. Okay, so you don't need emergency assistance, sir? No, no, we don't need emergency assistance, but uh, we appreciate you calling. I'll tell you that much. All right, thanks, brother. Do it for Dale. Okay, let's push this baby off. Well, look at that.
Car's completely locked up. We're not sure why. It's in neutral. We're going to have to tow it off the pad. Guys, I think this is it for the Hellcat. She's hurt bad. The airbags flew and it called on start. The Hellcat, man, that the, that poor car. I mean, the engine is absolutely stout in it, and it's so loud, and it puts on a great show, but the body in that thing is just, it's ruined. I have absolutely ruined that car. I, I bought it in what I thought was pretty good condition, and I really don't know what to do with it at this point. People seem to love it when it's in person and at the shows, but when it sits in my garage between shows, I just, I, I look at that thing and I'm just absolutely clueless on what to do. But let's get on to the, the tie boat. Over the past three weeks to two months, I have been tirelessly working on this boat. We've run into a lot of issues trying to get the engine running, uh, working on getting it to work on American diesel as opposed to Thai diesel, getting parts shipped over from Thailand. I've posted a few teasers of reels and the, they've gone absolutely viral. I get the Facebook and YouTube and TikTok, and I'm so thankful for everybody who's cheering me on for this thing. But I went ahead and hired a full production crew for this to film us a couple days out on the boat. And uh, it's something I've never done before. I've always kind of vlogged my own content and videotaped it myself and edited my own videos. But I think that there's a lot of people around the world waiting for me to rip this boat on US waters. And so I went ahead and hired a production team. They came out with like five or six people and a ton of cameras. And we had three full days of filming and it was absolutely exhausted. I don't think that the boat was ready, but it was kind of at a point where either I needed to go full send or just to wait even longer. And I didn't want to keep the people waiting. So we did three full days of filming. We got a bunch of people involved, interviews. I mean, this video is going to be really long and it's going to be full of some amazing content. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys, but I don't think it's going to drop for about another week or two because I think we filmed over 10 hours of footage, but I'm kind of shooting in the dark here with it because I don't really know what's going to happen. Like normally, you know, like I said, I vlog all my own stuff and I edit it myself. And this is the first video I've done where I haven't done that, but Hey, whatever, you got to try some new stuff over the past four years since I've had this YouTube channel. Uh, this, the name of Teeth and Turbos goes back to the first race week I did when I first started vlogging and posting videos and Uncle Chet came up with the name Teeth and Turbos kind of as a joke of a play of me being a dentist and then also driving a turboed cars and you know it's kind of like the racing and dental side which is kind of what I wanted the channel to be about and over the years as I've posted you know automotive related content, daily vlogging or even some dental content um, I just never really loved the name and I think it's because I never really had my personal touch on it and it was early on in like me posting videos so I just went with it and it's never really sat right with me and I don't think it's a very like brandable name for a channel I think that Derek did a really good job with his name doing like Vice Grip Garage and Kyle's you know Boost Boy Kyle um, you know Garrett is obviously Cletus McFarlane and Roman Atwood, you know, it seems like a lot of YouTubers have their name associated with the name of their channel and mine doesn't. And it's pretty much solely me that's filming and editing these videos. And so I kind of bounced it around the idea to some of my friends over the past weekend about like, Hey, what do you think about me changing my YouTube channel name from Teeth and Turbo to Dr. Parker? And I got to say it was kind of 50, 50, you know, some people are like, I don't really know what to think about that. Some people fully supported it. Some people are like, ah, I, don't, I just like the Teeth and Turbo's name, maybe because that's all they've known it as. And I've even had friends who just watch my content say, I thought your channel name was Dr. Parker. Like I thought that was your, your brand or your MO. And I just decided that, you know, after watching a recent video by Mr. Beast where he brought in all these YouTubers and like a lot of them are very successful, but a lot of their channel names are revolving around like a, a specific name that they go by or nickname. But I think that's what's really cool about my channel is that I would say 99% of my patients don't even know that I make content on the side for fun. And so they know me as Dr. Mitchell 
And then I think this would be a cool divide from people that I know outside of the office. You know, they know me as Dr. Parker from, you know, Facebook or Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, whatever. And then those who know me inside the office are Dr. Mitchell. So it's like a clean line between my dental career and my social media stuff that I do for fun. And uh, so that's what we're going with. Channel has officially been changed from Teeth and Turbos to Dr. Parker.